Hi everyone, it's Suzanne. Welcome back to Love and Pieces. Thanks for stopping by my channel. So tonight I'm needing to fill up a couple of my glue bottles and I thought I would just share with you how I do that and kind of talk to you a little bit about the, the glue that I use in case it helps someone. I have tried several different glues. Um, I've, I've played around with a lot of them. I'm very heavy handed when it comes to glue and ink and some of those things. So I need something that puts down a small, fine bead of glue. And I need glue that um, doesn't spread too much because I tend to get it too thick anyway. And I have kind of settled on um, Nuvo glue and you can't even see it anymore. This this is my my one of my old Nuvo bottles. Um, but I had really fallen in love with that glue. And from that, I actually purchased the My Sweet Petunia um, Precision Glue Press that uses these Nuvo dr glue. Uh, they also have Nuvo drops, and that's what I always want to say, but the Nuvo glue um, bottles. And so, because I like the glue, I like the bottle. It's a good, comfortable shape. It's easy to hold. Um, I bought the glue press, and I really love that, and I'll do a review on it next. But I needed to fill up my bottles and just wanted to share this process with you separately. In my search for finding glue, um, before I ordered the glue press, I actually needed some glue and I ordered art glitter glue because a lot of people use it. And so I have this big bottle that I'm not gonna waste. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And now that I'm, I've run out of my Nuvo glue, I'm gonna put this in my glue bottles. So that's the process I wanted to share with you. It's just easy way to fill up and reuse these glue bottles. So here's the Nuvo glue bottle that I'm gonna fill. And then I also like these nice um, needle precision bottles that you can buy. I think I got these off maybe Timu or something like that. Um, might've been Wish, they might be that old. But um, I like that needle, needle nose for that small bead of glue. And it's run out as well. This one's empty, so I need to fill it back up. So I just wanted to share with you how I do that. So I'm gonna take the lids and the caps off. <clears throat> this Nuvo glue, um, the original bottle, it doesn't have a screw on nozzle. You just have to kind of pull it out and sometimes it sticks, but you can work it out. And so that's, um, that's another way you can tell the old bottles from the ones that come with the, the press is that nozzle doesn't screw on, it slips out. Okay. So tools of the trade, this is what I use to fill my glue bottle. Um, I usually get some kind of small cup. One, um, because sometimes, well, I'll explain what the cup's for in just a second. Um, I also use these syringes, and these are medicine syringes. There's no needle or anything. It's just simply the, the suction um, mechanism and the outer casing to, like, to administer liquid medicine um, for people or to measure it out. And so I ordered these. I know I got these off of Walmart, but I've seen them like on Timu and some of those other places. But I got these off Walmart and um, they work wonderfully. I typically use the big one. And I will say I've probably used it uh, 10 or 15 times. And even though I wash it out every single time really good with soap and water, um, I can tell that this rubber plunger is drying out and it's not wanting to move as smoothly. You really got to work with it. The small one that I've maybe only used once or twice, it just pulls a lot easier. Now, because of the size of them, there's also going to be a difference in the pull, but I can tell the difference in this one just because I've, I've used it so much. I think either the soap is drying out that plunger or there's glue residue or something. So just know that it's it might have kind of a short life um, unless you get a really good quality one, but I, I'm not even sure about that. So these are the two syringes that I use. And I like the I like the big one because one pull of this will pretty much fill up my small bottle. And then um, I've not had to fill up the Nuvo because you can't buy replacement, you know, the bigger bottles of Nuvo glue. Every time I've had to buy Nuvo glue, I just bought another bottle. Um, so anyway, the cup is to pour the glue in. So when you first... Um, if you've got one of the bigger bottles, when you first start using it, the glue might be up here towards the top and it's easy to get to. But as the glue goes further down, you need something to pour it into so you can get to it. Those syringes won't reach far down in the bottle. Plus, you get it's a lot messier if you're having to go down inside the bottle. And also, I've already looked, this syringe won't fit inside this bottle. 
and this one just barely will. So um, it, your syringes, depending on the size of the bottle you're pulling out of, they might not fit down in there. So a little cup, this is, I think I got this at Dollar Tree, cute little solo cup. I use these a lot for mixing paint and all sorts of things. They're fairly sturdy. Um, you just need some kind of little cup to put it into. So I'm gonna pour in, and you can always put it back in the bottle, so I will put quite a bit in here because I've got, like I said, I've got two bottles I need to fill up. There we go. And if you've got, you might want to protect your work surface. If you've got like a um, Dollar Tree placemat or something like that, those vinyl placemats from Dollar Tree, those are good. I know this surface cleans up really well and I'll just make sure I don't get it on my couch. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, let's see, let's start with the little one because I've not used it very much. You're just going to, with the plunger down, you're going to stick the tip of the syringe into the glue and try not to get past the tip of the syringe. This is when you start getting it messy is when you get up above this part. So I'm just going to stick it, see if you can, I'll try to do it from the side. Stick it in there, oh, can't do that and pull, and then just pull the glue up into the syringe. You can see that it's white glue, I know. But now it's filled up the syringe, and the only part that's got glue on it's just that little needle, needle, or that little nose part. Then you stick that in your glue bottle and push the glue in. Not messy at all. And because this was the small one, it might even take two. Let's see. You don't want to pull it. Um, pull the plunger out of the syringe. You want to just stop short of the top and then again, just fill it up and I'm going to watch it and make sure I don't overfill. A tip, oh, you see how it kind of burped out? A tip is to kind of keep your bottle to the side slanted and when you put it in, if you can, leave an air gap so the air can come out as the glue um, is going in. And if, if you can't leave that gap, then just be sure and pull the syringe out every once in a while and let air escape. That's kind of like burping the baby. You're going to get air trapped in there if it's not got any place to go. And the first time you go to use your glue bottle, you will um, put a big blob of glue all over the place. All right. And I've made just a little bit of a mess. I've got it on those threads. And I did not bring um, my baby wipes. Usually I keep baby wipes handy to um, clean up that mess. And it's it's not a mess, really. It's just some on the thread. So I'm gonna push the rest of this into here. And because it's a bigger bottle, I'm gonna switch over to my bigger syringe. And you might see how it's a little bit harder to, harder to use. Whoops, I gotta, I need to do that with it in the glue. Let me put in more glue. Yeah, the loud noises you're hearing are our cats. If you've heard me watch my other videos, you know I'm on the couch recovering from knee replacement surgery. And our cats will be laying here taking a nap like cats do, being all peaceful and cute and sweet until the minute I turn on the camera and then they turn into little rambunctious kittens. And so they are playing with a box over there. It's the day after Christmas. We got a lot of boxes and they have found something to get into. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, I'm really having to pull hard to get that glue up into this one. And I never did before, so that's why I think it's just use and maybe that seal drying out or something. Um, I stopped pretty far short, if you can see it. Let's see if I can angle this the right way. I stopped pretty short of the top of it because I'm having to pull so hard that if I get too close, I'm afraid I'll, I'll pull the plunger completely out. And see, on this one, get up here, maybe closer, maybe that'll show you. This this opening in the glue bottle is big enough that I can put the glue nozzle, the syringe nozzle, to the side and let the air escape. And that will help keep from getting that, that glue burp. Ah, hold on. Not got it positioned right so I can plunge. There we go. Yeah, this one, this one's much slower. Um, 
but it would take more times of doing it with the small one. So I, on time, it's probably just a trade-off. That one, that one syringe got it. If I can, if I can tell, maybe half full. Not, not quite. Maybe half full. Let's see if I can do it one more time. Oh, this one's really cramping my hands. If you're hearing those little noises, it might you, you might be able to hear um, because I'm having to pull so hard, but still try to keep the nozzle down in the glue. Um, there, I'm getting some air in here, so that you can see there's a gap. So I'm going to have an air bubble at the top of this one, and I will try not to plunge that down into my glue bottle. You don't want to put air in there if you can help it. You want the air to come out. And if you were a nurse, you're probably um, telling me all the technique I'm doing wrong. I've got several nurse friends. They're probably going <laughs> to give me tips on how to do this with a better technique, and that would be great. And they're probably freaking out about the air bubbles in there. <laughs> Don't get air bubbles in a syringe. Okay, so you, I can hear the air sputtering now. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a polite sound. Um, that got it probably not quite full yet. I'm going to do a little bit more. And because that is so low, I'm going to pour some more in here. That should do it. <coughs> and with this little cup and also with the syringe, it's real easy to put any excess back in the bottle. So I don't, I don't worry about not pouring out or about pouring out too much. Probably should have used the small syringe because this is really, really hard to, to lift. And there's air getting into it again. It's kind of a balance as the, level of the glue in the cup goes down. You got to keep pushing the syringe down a little bit more, but you don't want to go so far you're getting glue on all, all over your syringe. But all in all, this is the easiest way to fill a glue bottle. Now, because I, I'm used to filling up bigger ones, I know that as this is getting close to the top, I'm going to take the, neat, the, the point of the syringe and lay it outside the bottle and kind of push it in from the side, letting some of that air flow out because this is where you'll trap air. And like I said, you'll get an air bubble in your glue and that's not, that's not fun when you start getting that excess glue coming out when you start using it. So I'm just going real slow. I'm kind of watching the glue levels in the bottle. It's a little hard to see but I'm kind of watching to make sure I don't overfill it. That's about as far as I'm going to go. And then, because it is a large bottle and it took me a couple times to fill it up, I'm going to take the bottle and I'm just going to kind of squeeze it. Not tight. I'm not trying... Oop, did you see the glue come up? I'm not trying to make the glue come out of the bottle. I'm just trying to release any air, air bubbles that may be in there. Kind of, again, burp the glue bottle. Whoops, and I burped it too much. Sent that out. I almost had a clean one. Let's see. I can clean that up in a minute. All right, so now this one's ready to get the lid back on. You just push it back in nice and tight. And again, before I put my cap on this one, I am going to get my um, baby wipes and clean that up because I don't want to glue my cap on. Same thing for this one. I'm going to wipe off the, the threads, but I'm not going to put my lid back on it just yet. That one could actually take a little bit more. There's still some in here. Let me see if I can fill that one up a little bit more. And again, I'm laying my nozzle on just the top of the, the glue bottle opening 
and just letting the glue kind of fall in, trying not to trap air with it. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do on that. So I've got a little bit of a mess to clean up, but not as much as if I had tried to pour this into the small openings of a glue bottle. The syringe method really is the best way to refill a glue bottle that I've found. And to give credit to the original, or well, where I learned it from, it's Natasha Foote. She's a card creator out of um, New Zealand, and I love watching her videos. Uh, she, she's fun to watch, and I think filling up a glue bottle was how I found her. Um, I was looking for ways to fill it up without being so messy, and she, she showed me this idea, and it's been uh, my go-to ever since. So thank you, Natasha, for that. Um, if you're not familiar with her, I will link, try to link her videos in the description here so you can find her. She's a great content creator. And hopefully this will help you with some of your glue bottles, maybe help clean up some mess maybe you've got around the house. So thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day. I hope you get a chance to be creative and be nice to people. Bye.